Hey, this is GD Beat Studio here with week two of my FL Studio Tips and Tricks series. In this video, I'm going to quickly explain how to set up a USB controller and access it and use it in FL Studio. So I have the controller called the Launch Key Mini from Novation, and I'm going to show you guys what I had to do, which is really easy, in order to map it up and get it in here. So all you have to do is from the basic FL Studio screen, go to Options and go to MIDI Settings within the system and in here you can see the outputs and you can also see the inputs we're concerned right now about the inputs only you can see it already lit up for launch key mini and launch key mini here in the MIDI in 2 now be careful because it, you might have a controller that links up automatically but you have to make sure this button right here is enabled and that just allows FL Studio to talk with your MIDI controller another roadblock you might run into is if you have nothing show up here even though you plugged it in before opening FL Studio as long as your cables are working correctly and your MIDI controller isn't broken, something should show up. But if not, you might have to hit rescan devices and that'll refresh this. The last and final thing that you might need to do is go over to controller type after you've hit enable on whatever is in the input. Mine automatically links up to the Novation launch key keyboard, but sometimes it might not have a corresponding um, preset here. I used to have a, or actually still do have an Axiom 49 keyboard, and that one does not have a. Um, a preset here. What I had to do is go to the Tascam US428 and that one works fine. A lot of these will work but you sometimes won't be able to find an exact replica of your specific USB controller. However, that might not make a difference. A lot of times the USBs map up automatically and you'll be able to use them. So mine's already good. I'm going to just demonstrate how it works real fast. If I click on this kick, actually let's click on the cat clap, default clap. I'm going to show you when I click a button on my MIDI controller. So that's all done through my MIDI controller. So yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys found this video useful. Feel free to comment on this video if you have any suggestions or questions. And definitely tweet me if you have suggestions for future videos. I'll be posting videos for FL Studio tips and tricks every single week, at least for the next month. And after that, I might get into some more in-depth stuff and potentially we'll go into another DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, and go into maybe some Ableton Live. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.